Hello people of God, God bless you so much for liking and subscribing to this channel and today we would like to talk about five lessons from the woman with the issue of blood. Five lessons from the woman with the issue of blood. The story of the woman with the issue of blood can be found in Mark chapter 5 verse 25 to 35 and the first lesson I would like to point out is the persistence of the woman. The persistence of the woman the woman praised on the woman never gave up bible says that the woman actually went to several doctors trying to be cured of the issue of blood trying to get her healing but it's never manifested she lost all her financial strength and i realized that this woman never gave up when the woman realized that jesus was in town she pressed on she pressed on and with her condition According to the Mosaic law, the woman wasn't supposed to even be found in public gatherings. Yet this woman fought, this woman went through the crowd trying to touch the hem of Jesus. I would like all of us to praise God irrespective of the challenges we face. We shouldn't give up, we should keep on pressing, we should keep on moving because there is always joy at the end of the tunnel. Let us not give up, let's keep pressing. The second thing I learned from the woman with the issue of blood was her faith. I realized that this woman was expectant, this woman had faith in Jesus. This woman had faith that Jesus would be able to heal her. And I would like all of us to learn from him. Let us have faith in God. Let us understand that God is able to do exceedingly more abundantly above all we can ask or think. That if we have faith in God, doors will open for us. Faith is actually a currency we use in the realms of the spirit. Let us have faith in God and through that, certain doors that have been closed in our lives will open for us. I realized that it was through the faith of this woman that she was able to get her healing. The third thing I realized from this story is that there is so much in God that we have to dream. There is so much in God. I realized that after the woman touched the hem of Jesus, Jesus said that virtue has gone out of him. And this makes me understand that there is so much in God that we have to dream. Be it financial blessings, be it educational blessings, anything you can think about, it is in God. There is so much blessings in God. The, the God we serve is not a God that is limited. The God we serve is a God who is rich in power. The God we serve is a God who is rich in all aspects of our lives. All we have to do is to have faith and drain Him. Let go and drain God because there is so much in God that we have. The fourth point I realized from the woman with the issue of blood was her confession. Bible says that this woman said to herself, If only I'm able to touch the hem of Jesus' garment, I'll be healed. This talks about confession. Confession. Irrespective of the situation you find yourself in, please confess positively. Let your confession be positive. Let your confessions add life to you. Because Bible says that in our mouth, there is life and death. And you will eat the fruit thereof. So based on what you see, that is what you are going to get. So let us confess positively. Let us use our mouth to speak life. Let's use our mouth to speak good things. And it will manifest in our life. Lastly, we need to see Jesus. We need to see Jesus. This woman sought after Jesus. This woman sought after Jesus. I want us to learn that. Whenever we find ourselves in, let's sit after the Lord. Let's sit after the Lord. Let's go after the Lord. Let's go after the Lord. Let's make an effort to encounter Jesus. And if we are able to do that, our lives will never be the same. God bless us so much. And I believe you were blessed with today's way of encouragement. God bless you. Till we meet again.